Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to the action-packed Vaughn Manor, where, once again, we are delving into the books that time forgot. Yes, the books that time forgot. Going through all my books to boxes at a time, me and my good friend Roger over here, who's thrilled to be here as usual, two boxes today. And I think they're going to be both very different. So this first one, this first box that we're going to be going through, looks to be full of mostly ancient history. So a thrill a minute, this first box. And I think the second box over there is full of mostly science fiction. So here we go. The first book today is this one. It's A History of Rome by M. Carey and H. H. Scullard. I know, exciting stuff, a big heavy textbook. But I remember this being pretty good, actually. A History of Rome is the first one. Uh, second book we have here is a book by Michael Grant. I think we've got a few uh, Michael Grants in here. This is Nero by Michael Grant, a biography of, about Nero uh, by Michael Grant, uh, the popular historian who wrote a ton of popular history books, this being one of them, about Nero. Again, another pretty good one, from what I remember. Uh, here we have a penguin. This is a big penguin. This is the 12 Caesars. I've, I've shown this one before. This is uh, the illustrated edition of Robert Graves' translation of the 12 Caesars. This one's cool because it's got um, a bunch of illustrations to go along with the lives of the Caesars. Excellent book, The Twelve Caesars. Next, we've got just some random book about Alexander the Great. Uh, this is Alexander the Great, Son of the Gods by Alan Fields and Joanne Fletcher. Alexander the Great, the Son of the Gods. Next, we've got Hesiod. We've got Hesiod. Uh, and this is everything, right? Theogony, Works and Days and Shield by Hesiod. Epic, uh, or a epic poet uh, from ancient Greece, Hesiod. Interesting stuff. Not too, uh, not read too often, I don't think, anymore. But here you go. And we have a book about the Acropolis, uh, Monument and Museum by George. I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this name because that name is very long. And I would undoubtedly mispronounce it. I got this. What did I get it for? Six bucks at Half Price Books. Yeah. Has a uh, plan of the Acropolis and everything. It's a pretty cool little book. And then we've got a Penguin Historical Atlas of Ancient Civilizations. Uh, this just has a random sampling. Here's the Mycenaeans here. Uh, a random sampling of ancient civilizations. We've got the first empires there, Sargon, and some others. And so just a lot of cool old maps, old historical atlas. Uh, next, we've got another Michael Grant book. Here is Herod the Great by Michael Grant. Herod the Great. And another Michael Grant book. This is Jesus There by Michael Grant. And here we have a book uh, by Adrian Goldsworthy, who I like a lot. This is How Rome Fell by Adrian Goldsworthy. And this was a pretty good book. How Rome Fell with a Whimper by Adrian Goldsworthy. Uh, here is uh, Warlords of Republican Rome. Warlords of Republican Rome by Nick Fields. Caesar versus Pompey. Is this a sword and pen? Who did this book? Let me just find out, because I'm curious. Yeah, pen and sword. Excuse me, it's pen and sword. And we've got Julius Caesar, The Battle for Gaul. A new illustrated translation. It's not new anymore. It's kind of an old translation. But it is uh, profusely illustrated. And so it is pretty interesting, uh, this translation. A lot of cool stuff in this particular one. 
this was translated by Anne and Peter Wiseman. And we've got another Michael Grant book. This is From Alexander to Cleopatra, The Hellenistic World by Michael Grant. Now we've got The Trojan War, the Trojan War by Barry Strauss. Uh, a lot of guesswork in this one. <laughs> the Trojan War by Barry Strauss. Uh, now we have The Other Greeks by Victor Davis Hanson, The Other Greeks, where he's talking about uh, basically the Greeks we never hear about, uh, the Greeks of the fields and the countryside. Victor David Hanson, I have mixed feelings about uh, Victor Davis Hans David Hanson. Mixed feelings about that one. Okay, what else we have? We've got another Adrian Goldsworthy book. This is The Fall of Carthage. About, uh, well, about the fall of Carthage. There's Hannibal there. Good book, actually. Then we have Alexander, The Ambiguity of Greatness by Guy McLean Rogers. And here we have a book that does not belong in this box at all, and yet here it is. This is Withering Heights by Emily Bronte. I don't know why it's in here. It's an old um, beat-up Barnes & Noble copy. Don't know why it's here, but here it is. And then we have The Peloponnesian War by Donald Kagan. This is actually a really good book. I recommend this one. He wrote a lot about the Peloponnesian War, and this is his one-volume popular history. He had a four, I think it was a four-volume history on the Peloponnesian War as well. It was either three or four volumes, but this is the one volume popular history. Another book by Michael Grant. I told you he wrote a lot of these. The World of Rome. A brilliant survey of the conquest and culture of the Romans from 133 BC to AD 217. An era of unparalleled power. So there you go. They're selling this book pretty hard. Uh, here is... History of the Persian Empire. History of the Persian Empire by A.T. Olmsted. History of the Persian Empire. Another Michael Grant book. Uh, this is The History of Rome by Michael Grant. I actually bought this in Rome at the Roma Museum, I believe. I think I bought it in their gift shop. So, The History of Rome by Michael Grant. And another Michael Grant book, A Biography of St. Peter. And here's a book with a very boring cover. This is A History of Macedonia by R. Malcolm Arrington. A History of Macedonia. And here is a book by Stacy Schiff. This is Cleopatra by Stacy Schiff. Popular book, this one. Uh, and Constantine by Paul Stevenson. Constantine by Paul Stevenson. So that was a lot of dusty old ancient history books for the first box. Let's, let's move on to the second box now. All right, it's time for box number two, my friend. Let's get to it. Uh, a lot of these you might have seen before, depending on which of my videos you've seen. Uh, but for completionist's sake, I have to go through all my books. So... Let's go through. A lot of these are science fiction, inc including this one, I guess. This is You Will Live Again, Dramatic Case Histories of Reincarnation. In other words, a book full of nonsense. You will live again. You won't, probably, but, you know, you will live again. Next, we have The Ice People. The Ice People. Uh, by René Bargevel, The Ice People. Got James Blish, Vor, Vor by James Blish. A Man of Double Deed by Leonard Deventry. That's a pretty cool old cover there. That's the Man of Double Deed, I guess, right there. The man, a man of 
double deed. Mind Swap. Mind Swap by Robert Sheckley, author of The Game of X. Mind Swap. And we've got The Fifth Planet. Science fiction at its best. Fifth Planet by Fred Hale. Excuse me, Fred Hoyle and Geoffrey Hoyle. Fifth Planet. And here is The Last Planet. The Last Planet by Andre Norton. Look at this robot. This guy cracks me up. It cracked me up the last time I, I took out this book, too. And they are all wearing obligatory science fiction outfits from the 50s. Those are very 1950s science fiction outfits. And if I were that robot, I would probably be worried, too. The Fifth Planet by Andre Norton. One of my several copies of The Midwitch Cuckoos uh, by John Wyndham. I've got a couple copies of this book, which is good because this is an awful good book. I hear I have not read it yet, if you can believe that. What's wrong with me that I haven't read that book? That book's supposed to be amazing. Here we got Sargasso. Sargasso by Edwin Corley. Sargasso. And we've got Harlan Ellison, Approaching Oblivion by Harlan Ellison. Approaching Oblivion. This was pretty good from what I remember. Next, we've got an ace double. This is Philip Jose Farmer's The Mad Goblin, which is basically, uh, this is Philip Jose Farmer's creepy version of Doc Savage. And on the other side is The Lord of the Trees, which is Philip Jose Farmer's really strange version of Tarzan. The Lord of the Trees. And we've got Howard Fast, The Edge of Tomorrow by Howard Fast. Psychologist by L.P. Davies. The best-selling sci-fi thriller that shocked the nation at $3.95. Shocking at $3.95, Psychologist. It shocked the nation. So much so that none of us can remember it. And here is The Mutants by Chris Neville. The Mutants. Those are the mutants there, I'm assuming. Recall Not Earth. Recall Not Earth by C.C. McCap. Recall Not Earth. I remember these guys. The Solarians by Norman Spinrad. I still haven't read this. Oh, man. I'm lagging on my... Sci-fi reading. The Solarians. Those guys. They crack me up. And here is Blades of Mars. Blades of Mars by Edwin Edward P. Bradley. Bradbury. Edward P. Bradbury, which is actually Michael Moorcock. Blades of Mars. Journey of the Oceanauts. Look at that dude. Journey of the Oceanauts by Louis Wolfe. The Shape of Tomorrow. The Shape of Tomorrow by Georges Soule. The Shape of Tomorrow. Those Who Watch by Robert Silverberg. Those Who Watch. It's a not very convincing UFO on the cover of this. Beachhead Planet by Robert Moore Williams. Beachhead Planet. I'm gonna have to make myself some room here because these are quite a few books. So let me just make some room. Okay, made some more room. We've got Pebble in the Sky by Isaac Asimov. The novel of man's conquest of the illimitable vastness of outer space. Pebble in the Sky by Isaac Asimov. That's a cool old copy of this book. This is a cool book. This is The Body Snatchers by Jack Finney. Of course, this became the film Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Great movie, great book. Actually, it was a couple of great movies. And then we've got The Doomsday Men. The Doomsday Men uh, by Kenneth Bulmer. The Doomsday Men by Kenneth Bulmer. We got The Black Cloud by Fred Hoyle. The Black Cloud. Shaped like a hand, wouldn't you know it? 
Level 17, I remember this. Actually, it's level seven. This always gets me. I always look at this and I think it's level 17, but it's only level seven. Only level seven by Mordecai Rushwald. Here's some Heinlein, Robert Heinlein's Friday. Robert Heinlein's Friday. Here's some Samak, The Goblin Reservation by Clifford D. Samak. The Goblin Reservation, another cool old 60s cover. That's really cool there. We got some Doc Smith here. E.E. E. Doc Smith, the Skylark of Space. E.E. E. Doc Smith, the first of the famous Skylark novels. That's pretty cool. Here's some more Philip, Philip Jose Farmer. The Gate of Time. The Gate of Time by Philip Jose Farmer. I don't know why I have so many copies of this book. Those Idiots from Earth by Richard Wilson. It must be the title. It must be the title. That's why I have so many of these. We've got Earthmen and Strangers, edited by Robert Silverberg, an anthology there, Earthmen and Strangers. The Avengers of Carrig by John Bruner. The Avengers of Carrig. Here we have The Grindle Nightmare, which I don't think is science fiction by Quentin Patrick. It's a classic mystery of gruesome surprise. Anybody ever read this book? It's a classic uh, mystery of gruesome surprise. Now I want to read it just so I can get the gruesome... So I'm going to keep this out because I want to find out what the gruesome surprise is. I'm going to read that one. Here we have The Dolphins of Altair. The Dolphins of Altair by Margaret St. Clair. And I have a couple copies of this. This is The Great Explosion. At least I did. I might have sent my other one away by Eric Frank, Frank Russell. The Great Explosion, which I hear is a pretty good book. I haven't actually read it yet. This is another book that is not science fiction. Some Will Die. Some Will Die by Algis Badris. Some Will Die. It's a cool cover. I have quite a few books in here. Here's The Valley of Creation by Edmund Hamilton, the great Edmund Hamilton. Love this guy. The Valley of Creation. Conquerors from Darkness by Robert Silverberg. Conquerors from the Darkness. Darai E.C. Tubb. This is Darai E.C. Tubb. This is a double because you flip it over and it is The Singing Stones by Juanita Colson. Yeah, I remember when I got these. They were from uh, one of those eBay boxes that I got. Here's more Heinlein. Robert Heinlein, Podcane of Mars. Podcane of Mars by Robert Heinlein. Star Breed by Martha DeMoy Clow or Clo. Star Breed. Anybody read any of these books? We have six short novels of science fiction. Six short novels of science fiction. Who do we have in here? Heinlein's in here. Murray Leinster. James Blish. Theodore Sturgeon. Some good stuff in this one. And we have another copy of The Rest Must Die by Richard Foster. Don't know why I end up with so many copies of these books. Now this is supposed to be a good book, but I have not read it yet. This is The Forever War by Joe Haldman. I know I have a couple copies of this. I have this copy and a newer copy, I believe. Okay, what else do I have in here? Let me just pull out another pile here. We have The Year of the Quiet Sun by Wilson Tucker, The Year of the Quiet Sun. I think I might have a couple copies of that. Path to Savagery by Robert Edmund Alter. Path to savagery. That's the path to savagery right there. Here is a pocket book of science fiction edited by Donald A. Walheim. Walheim, a uh, pocket book of science fiction, just another cool little sci-fi anthology. Now I know, want to know what's in here. I'm going to guess Asimov. Does it have a title page? Here's the top. Let me see. Or table of contents. Here we go. Uh, Ambrose Bierce is in here? Wow, H.G. Wells. 
uh, T.S. Sterling, Wallace G. West. No Asimov, but it does have uh, Heinlein and Theodore Sturgeon. And here is another copy of The Time Machine, because you can never have too many copies of H.G. Wells' The Time Machine. You never can. This is a good book, The Puppet Masters, uh, by Robert A. Heinlein. I like this one, The Puppet Masters by Heinlein. Another Heinlein, Tomorrow, the Stars. Look at this guy's cool suit. He's ready for tomorrow, Tomorrow, the Stars. Message from Sirius by Cecil Jenkins. Message from Sirius. This is, I think, not actually sci-fi. I think this is mystery. This is a mystery novel, actually. You know, they just kind of sneak in here. Buck Rogers, man, Rogers, Rangers, uh, by John Silber, Silbersack. The exciting new sequel to the original Buck Rogers novel, Rogers, Rangers. It's a very Buck Rogers cover. Uh, then we have a beat-up old copy of The Humanoids by Jack Williamson, The Humanoids. A couple more left. We've got Brain Twister by Mark Phillips, Brain Twister, and... A book that's bound to be awfully good, John Wyndham's The Infinite Moment. The Infinite Moment by John Wyndham. And this might be some short stories. Let me check, because if it's, if it's a novel, yeah, it's, a short, it's short stories. So that, that's, that's got to be an excellent book, because that is a great writer. And that is it. That's all I've got for you today, me and Roger, and the books that time forgot. Two more boxes knocked out. Catch me next week. Uh, I've got a few more boxes to go. I look back there where I keep my boxes of books because I figured we've got to be coming to the end of the road, right? I've been doing this for a while now, um, but there's still... There's still a few more boxes to go. Uh, so, yeah. Strap yourselves in for a few more... Weeks of adventure with the books that time forgot. I will catch you next time. Thanks, guys.